to Anchors Away, the podcast that chronicles a landlocked new sailor's journey to finding freedom and adventure at sea. I'm your host, Todd Middlebrooks, and I welcome you along on my journey. That's right, we are back with Anchors Away, the podcast that I started uh, in 2020 and have taken a little break from for a while, but I am back and I'm excited about some upcoming episodes. Uh, this is going to kind of be a reintroduction to the podcast and uh, plans that I have uh, going forward as far as episodes and distribution and things of that nature. Uh, first of all, I do want to say that there's now a video podcast element to this podcast. Uh, it is available on YouTube. I'm also going to distribute that on a Spotify video podcast as well. But the primary destination will be uh, on YouTube. And you can search uh, Todd Middlebrooks on YouTube or Anchors Away Podcast and find it that way. There will be some video elements to the podcast going forward. So if you want to tune in and see those, then that's the place to find that. Along those lines, I did want to discuss uh, some of my ideas for upcoming episodes. You know, this podcast started off as kind of a chronicling of my um, kind of dream to become a sailor, um, which did happen. If you, you know, you haven't, if you're just tuning into this, you know, podcast and haven't heard those previous episodes, those first couple seasons are all about how, um, I wanted to become a a sailor, learn how to sail, take ASA sailing courses, uh, finding a sailing school, going through that process, um, becoming a certified uh, skipper for both uh, bare boat charters on uh, monohulls and catamarans and are, you know, the ventures that we've had since uh, in Florida, in the Bahamas, in the BVI, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. So, Go back and check out those early episodes. I feel like I've come a long way in in the process of uh, like as of my sailing. I've still got a ton to learn. This podcast that you know there's a gap, and so this the, you're coming back into these uh, these episodes going forward. I'm going to try to fill in that gap a little bit, and then I'm going to you know uh, have a more hopefully planned out. Uh, cohesive consistency going forward with these episodes. Um, That being said, do kind of want to go over some of the episode ideas that I have going forward. Buying a boat as a partnership. So a lot of people have questions about establishing uh, boat ownership through an LLC. Not that I'm an expert on that by any means, but it's something that I'm going to be pursuing going forward. So, you know, make a great podcast episode. Along those same lines, naming a boat, uh, the significance and meaning of naming uh, your boat. Uh, also, we had a charter uh, in the Abaco. It was a interesting charter, wound up being a power cat. Um, there's more to that story, and that'll be an upcoming episode on the podcast as well. Uh, how I photograph my sailing adventures. So for, for each one of our trips, I try to put together a... Um, photo and or video that's published also on the that same youtube channel and i'll go through how you know how i do that uh also how i put together a book like i have a you know i try to put a book together for each of our sailing adventures uh that chronicles you know the photos of that so that you know we can remember those trips in a different way how i capture drone footage the drone that i use that may be a come upcoming episode. Uh, I don't. That may be rolled into part of the photographing the sailing adventures. But there's also an interesting story regarding almost losing the tip of my thumb uh, in the Abaco. That'll be an upcoming episode as well. Uh, I want to talk coming up about the Moorings Yacht Ownership Program. Uh, kind of a spoiler alert. Am excited to uh, to I guess break the news that going in with a couple of partners and we are going to be purchasing a boat uh, in the moorings ownership program and that'll make an upcoming episode as as well last fall october late october early november we took a sailing charter to the bvi on a moorings uh 5000 so that was exciting took a lot of people that had not been to the bvi before so um it's kind of neat to see how you know i started this this whole process with wanting to learn how to sail I have since uh, started learning how to sail, earned some certifications, gone on some trips, and have now been able to, you know, pay that forward a little bit and share my love of sailing with others who have not been 
uh, sailing in areas that that we love. So uh, it's kind of coming full circle in that sense, and that's that's very exciting. That was one of my goals when I started this whole process. Um, uh, planning a charter, uh, how I do it, and the tools that I use. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through all of the the software apps, the methodology, the process that I use to plan a sailing charter. That should be a fun episode. And then drilling a little bit deeper will be an episode probably uh, about trip planning specifically in Notion. Over the past year, I have discovered Notion, uh, which is basically a a kind of a project management uh, database type application. And I really, really like it for uh, planning. And I'm actually um, working on a template that I'll be able to offer to others that are interested in planning their sailing charters as well, because it offers a really, really detailed way of capturing your your research, your plan, uh, putting together an itinerary, keeping all your reservation information, um, capturing crew information, and then sharing your trip data back out to your crew. Uh, so that's exciting, and that's coming up as well. And then I've got an episode plan for uh, trackers and data collectors. So these are the tools that I use while I'm on a charter to capture uh, route data and things of that nature so that I can use it on the charter and after the charter. And that episode will discuss the ways that I capture and the ways that I use that information. So anyway, I'm excited about the podcast. It's back It's in multiple forms. It's in audio in your ears right now. It's on the YouTube channel. Just search Todd Middlebrooks or Anchors Away podcast and you'll find us there. And until then, I look forward to being back with you soon in the next episode. Thanks for tuning into the show. Be sure to subscribe and have future episodes automatically docked into your favorite podcast player. Until then, anchors away.